Okay, so like I was saying, we um, did the superoxide earlier this morning, molecular orbital theory. So we're going to take the atomic orbitals and make the um, polyatomic ion that is peroxide, okay? So if you guys recall how we do that, so I'm just going to assume you do recall this and I'm just going to talk, okay? So if you recall, we um, use the valence electrons of the two atoms that we're using, or in this case, the two ions that we're using to combine to form the polyatomic ion, okay? So if we think about the valence, or let's just start with what two ions are we using, right? So this is O2, 2 minus, right? So what, what could we use? O minus, right? And what would be the other one? O minus, right? Or we could use O and O2 minus, something like that, if you want to think about it that way. I, I'm just going to use O minus and O minus. Is that okay with everybody? So we'll do O minus here. And if you remember, the valence shell, right, has the three P's and the one S, right? So what is this? This is the two S, and these are the three two P's, right? Okay, so let's go over here, and hopefully I'm writing it far enough away, write the other O minus. And it's going to have those same orbitals. Okay, is everybody okay with what I've done so far? Okay, so now what do I need to do? I need to put electrons in my orbitals. Is that correct? Okay, so how many electrons would O minus have to put in those orbitals. And how would I figure that out? Periodic table. And what would I do? Count them. It would be 6 plus 1. So 7. Where do I get that 1 from? Because it's O minus, right? So there's going to be 7 on this one and 7 on that one. So they're going to have the same atomic orbital um, construction, right? So remember all your um, orbital filling rules. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. You okay with that? Okay, and then we're going to have the exact same thing over here, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and if you remember, some of the two P's fill feel, not feel like touch, but feel weird, right? Oxygen is not one of those, okay? So you don't have to worry about, like, remembering <coughs> the switch or switching. Okay, so let's build our molecular orbitals now. So what is this one down here called? Do you guys remember? Sigma 2s. Good job. What's this one up here? Sigma star 2s. Right? Is that right? Okay. And then so what's going to be next? What's down here? No, the sigma. Because this one isn't a weird one, right? So sigma, you would expect the sigmas to form first, remember? Sigma 2. Yeah, it's going to be the sigma 2p. And we'll write, these ones are the what? The pi pi 2. Uh-huh. And these one? What is this one? Pi star. Pi star. Very good. And then? Sigma star. Okay. So let's write those in. So what did you say this one down here was? Sigma 2p. 
to be this one. I. Uh huh. This one. I. You can help me out. <laughs> this one. What is this? Pi star. Very good. Yeah. Pi star. Two p. This one. Pi star. Two p. What's this one? Sigma star 2. Okay. So I'll let you guys write that down. And now what do we do? We just fill up like normal, right? Okay, so how many electrons do we have here in the bottom part? Four, right? Two from here and two from there. So that's going to fill up both of these orbitals, right? So one, two, three, four. How many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. Plus five is ten, right? So two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that. Is everybody okay with that? So would you expect this um, polyatomic ion to be stable enough to be formed? Why would you expect that? Well, that's the best way, that's the statement you want to make. But we do, yeah, you got to figure out what the bond order is, right? So that was what um, uh, was said in the back. Uh, but we know that peroxides exist, right? That's something that we just studied. So we should hope, right, that we get a bond order that's greater than zero, right? If we don't, then we messed up somewhere if that makes sense, okay? So you would expect both the superoxide and the peroxide to be a bond order greater than zero. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. And the superoxide we figured out was, in fact, I believe it was 1.5 if I remember correctly, okay? So let's figure out what this one is. And how do we do the bond order? What, do you guys remember what the bond order equation was? Yeah? Yeah. Very good. So, how many bonding electrons? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And antibonding, how many? Six. One, two, three, four, <coughs> five, six. Right? One half of two. Right, eight minus six is two. It's gonna equal what? One. one. So bond order is one. Does this thing exist? Yes. So is it stable? Yes. Yeah. It exists. Um, would this be attracted to a magnet? The uh, uh, peroxide? No. Very good. No, it wouldn't. Why not? Yeah, I don't see any of our molecular orbitals that are half-filled. So just like Reggie says, since there's no half-filled shells, or no half-filled orbitals, it's not going to be um, attracted to any magnets, okay? So the last thing I want to do then is to figure out, well, what is the molecular electron configuration, or the electron configuration of this polyatomic ion? Can you guys help me out in drawing it out? So if you remember with these ones, we put parentheses around. So what would we start with? So again, this is just the this is just for the valence. Okay, so you could put the sigma 1s, uh, sigma 1s star first, but we'll just do the valence electron configuration, okay? So sigma 2s, 2, right? What would be next? 
sigma star 2s. Help me out, guys. 2. Two. Next. Yeah. Sigma 2p. 2. Pi. 2p. What? 4. If you guys aren't knowing this stuff, then you're going to have to know this, remember. Okay, so this one is going to be what? Pi star 2p. 4. And is that it? Yep, that's it. So that would be the valence electron configuration. If we wanted the full, we would just put. That would be the full electron configuration. Okay. So the valence, so the valence is all of that. Does that make sense? Any questions? Any more questions that you would like answered about something like this? So remember, you want to be able to do this with both peroxide and the superoxide just to confirm that these kinds of ions can exist. Does everybody understand what I'm trying to say? Okay, wonderful. So I'm going to kill this unless anybody's got a final word.